Hey guys, and welcome back to Idle On. And today I'm going to be finally working my way up to the next weapon for my Barbarian, which is going to be the Enforced Slasher. And the game changer here was really the fact that with the World 3 update, they lowered the crafting requirement requirements. So before that, I was like waiting and waiting and waiting. And I only had like half of what I needed in terms of the uh, leather requirement for the enforced uh, slasher but uh today luckily they they have um with that update they have lowered the requirements to craft that weapon so that has now allowed me to i went from being able to craft zero to being able to craft multiple i think now so we got a few things to do first but then we are going to eventually uh get the enforced slasher going so i bought the new uh tier three stones from the shop getting that all set up and checking out uh, some new farming areas here in World 3 to try out. Uh, so fighting sheepies, but that XP is kind of low. So I'm trying to uh, get my cards set up for a new XP uh, grinding setup for this character. Now my defense though, however, is probably a little lower than I would like. So... I'm going to have to try and experiment and see what I can get going to kind of uh, make this work without using too much food. But yeah, this is going to be my active character once again. So I'm going to focus in on any cards that can uh, potentially get me more XP per hour. So yeah, I got up to almost 400k there, which is better. Um, but we're going to keep trying to see. I think I can get above this uh, fairly easily here pretty soon. I don't have prayers yet, so that's another thing uh, I don't necessarily have going for me. And I'll be getting those soon. And then after I get the prayers, uh, should be uh, definitely increasing things for sure. Still farming some iron here on my miner. But my miner's been switching back and forth between a number of different uh, ores. Just based on whatever I kind of need. And however often I'm planning to check it as well. Uh, if I'm planning to check it often, then sometimes I'll do copper. But I don't I don't leave copper all night because it fills up my inventory really fast. So yeah, I typically don't do copper from going all night or for like longer than a few hours. So otherwise I kind of mix it up between different other types of ores and such. So uh, here's my bank doing pretty solidly got some nice stockpiles of different resources i need for alchemy and crafting and different types of those sorts of uh things so yeah it's coming along well here coming along well my journeyman is over at nuttos right now uh and i'm trying to get to the top of this tower here i think for wood mushrooms because I want to get the frisbee ring at some point and I need to farm the frisbee and journeyman seemed kind of like the best character to do it with so I think eventually I'm going to probably do that that's my current uh objective here also because those guys drop like small mana potions and such which are useful for I believe crafting certain recipes so good to collect those and yeah, also trying to do a bit of farming with this character at uh, mashed potatoes here as well um, because I need these for, I believe, platinum plate body. So we'll see. Well, maybe I'll come back to the wood mushrooms later. I was trying to kind of mix it up, I think, between some different locations for XP versus the portals. So uh, still farming sheepies here. Hopefully going to move up to Snowflake soon just because... What they drop, the melted ice cubes, are what I need for the next weapon up for my Barbarian. So, yeah, I'll be focusing on that soon. And here's my level 61 mining character, 6.94k mining efficiency. Uh, it's okay. And then my woodcutting character with 7.73k efficiency. Working on getting these up higher, but I need to focus on the next set of tools. And as well as alchemy bubbles and stuff like that. So uh, these should be going up pretty soon. And also prayers. Prayers would help 
but I need to get the press unlocked. And I was taking my time about that for some reason. So still getting good mining gains even without that. Something else pretty horrible I realized suddenly uh, was that for several of my characters, at least the mining one, later on I realized I did not have my attacks assigned. There's apparently one active attack and I didn't have it assigned. And when you're switching back and forth between the builds, it's hard to remember that you have one attack to assign. So unfortunately, I was missing out on some big gains because of that, which was unfortunate. Mostly, I believe, less in maybe in the XP category, but more in the uh, actual ore category. So that's unfortunate. But eventually, I figured that out. So I'm getting some of these uh, frogs here. Uh, those are going to be useful for upgrading a variety of things. I believe the Dementia Helmet needs that, as well as uh, some of the upgrades in the building tab here eventually need those as well so i'm just trying my best to start here with construction and upgrade these as fast as possible i'm going to hopefully get another slot here as well to upgrade them so i'll be doing that as fast as i possibly can to try and catch up if it's of any comfort i did actually this video is still behind so i did actually start this much closer to when i actually unlocked world 3 which was close to the actual update. This video is just, it's behind and it's kind of condensing things a little bit too. So these are these are multiple days that got put together into one video. Uh, so regardless, uh, as you can see here, my XP went up 564K, went up since the previous time uh, I was doing that. I, I knew I could get it up there. I just needed to kind of sort out which cards were going to be best and uh, what the optimal uh, setup was going to be for me. So yeah, just gonna be farming snowflakes now, mostly for their melted ice cubes. I briefly had my shaman in here doing some stuff with sheepies, but then I kind of realized, because the shaman was getting good XP there, but I really needed it doing some other stuff and farming some different things. So I ended up eventually taking it away to do some other stuff. Uh, but good gains here for my main Barbarian active character. Getting some really nice gains in this new area. As well as uh, some good potions that drop from this. I was not really used to potions of such a high quality getting dropped. But these ones really make a big difference. And I like to put these new strength potions on if I'm doing something like a font or some, some other sort of difficult one-off task. Uh, those potions are really helpful. So yeah, in Force Slash or next weapon up, the leather requirement got significantly reduced. So now we can definitely easily be crafting one of these guys. And it should make a huge difference in our damage. And there, as you can see, pretty good difference here. And I applied the tier 3 stones to it as well. So pretty solid difference here. Pretty solid upgrade, as you'll see in a moment here. Seven, well... It's a, yeah, it's a small difference there, but it's a bigger difference. Um, it's a bigger difference once the attacks are activated and such. So overall, pretty happy with that. Still, anything that can increase my damage, I'm definitely all for, and definitely gonna be going for the next one uh, up the ice weapon for that the barbarian as well. So yeah, it's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the progress I've been making thus far and I'll keep it all going. So stay tuned for the next video.